a pupa is the life stage of some insects undergoing transformation. The pupal stage is found only in Holomptobolus insects, those that undergo a complete metamorphosis, going through four life stages, embryo, larva, pupa and imago. The pea of different groups of insects have different names such as chrysalis for the pea of butterflies and tumbler for those of the mosquito family. The pea may further be enclosed in other structures such as cocoons, nests or shells. Position in life cycle In the life of an insect the pupal stage follows the larval stage and precedes adulthood. It is during the time of pupation that the adult structures of the insect are formed while the larval structures are broken down. The pea are inactive and usually sessile. They have a hard protective coating and often use camouflage to evade potential predators. Duration, pupation may last weeks, months or even years. For example it is two weeks in monarch butterflies. The pupa may enter dormancy or diapos until the appropriate season for the adult insect. In temperate climates pea usually stay dormant during winter, while in the tropics pea usually do so during the dry season. Anna's swallowtail sometimes emerge after years as a chrysalis. Emergence Insects emerge from pea by splitting the pupal case, and the whole process of pupation is controlled by the insect's hormones. Most butterflies emerge in the morning. In mosquitoes the emergence is in the evening or night. In fleas the process is triggered by vibrations that indicate the possible presence of a suitable host. Prior to emergence, the adult inside the pupal exoskeleton is termed ferret. Once the ferret adult has it closed from the pupa, the empty pupal exoskeleton is called an exuvium. In most hymenopterans the exuvium is so thin and membranous that it becomes crumpled as it is shed. Newly emerged females of the Edith's checker spot butterfly mate immediately with males, usually within less than an hour after eclosion. Pupal mating. In a few taxa of the Lepidoptera, especially Heliconius, pupal mating is an extreme form of reproductive strategy where adult males mate with female pupa about to emerge or with the newly molted female. This is accompanied by other actions such as capping of the reproductive system of the female with the sphragis, denying access to other males, or by exuding an anti-aphrodisiac from un. Defense, p are usually immobile and are largely defenseless. To overcome this, a common feature is concealed placement. There are some species of lichenid butterflies who are protected in their pupal stage by ants. Another means of defense by pea of other species is the capability of making sounds or vibrations to scare potential predators. A few species use chemical defenses including toxic secretions. The pea of social hymenopterans are protected by adult members of the hive. Chrysalis a chrysalis or numpa is the pupal stage of butterflies. The term is derived from the metallic gold coloration found in the pea of many butterflies, referred to by the Greek term iii florin iii for gold. When the caterpillar is fully grown, it makes a button of silk which it uses to fasten its body to a leaf or a twig. Then the caterpillar's skin comes off for the final time. Under this old skin is a hard skin called a chrysalis. Because chrysalids are often showy and are formed in the open, they are the most familiar examples of pea. Most chrysalids are attached to a surface by a velcro-like arrangement of a silken pad spun by the caterpillar, usually cemented to the underside of a perch, and the cremastral hook or hooks protruding from the rear of the chrysalis or cremaster at the tip of the pupal abdomen by which the caterpillar fixes itself to the pad of silk. Like other types of pea. The chrysalis stage in most butterflies is one in which there is little movement. However, some butterfly pea are capable of moving the abdominal segments to produce sounds or to scare away potential predators. Within the chrysalis, growth and differentiation occur. The adult butterfly emerges from this and expands its wings by pumping hemolymph into the wing veins. Although this sudden and rapid change from pupa to omega is often called metamorphosis, Metamorphosis is really the whole series of changes that an insect undergoes from egg to adult. When emerging, the butterfly uses a liquid, sometimes called cocoonase, which softens the shell of the chrysalis. Additionally, it uses two sharp claws located on the thick joints at the base of the forewings to help make its way out. Having emerged from the chrysalis, 
the butterfly will usually sit on the empty shell in order to expand and harden its wings. However, if the chrysalis was near the ground, the butterfly would find another vertical surface to rest upon and harden its wings. Mothpi are usually dark in color and either formed in underground cells, loose in the soil, or their pupa is contained in a protective silk case called a cocoon. It is important to differentiate between pupa, chrysalis and cocoon. The pupa is the stage between the larva and adult stages. The chrysalis is a butterfly pupa. A cocoon is a silk case that moths, and sometimes other insects, spin around the pupa. Cocoon A cocoon is a casing spun of silk by many moth caterpillars, and numerous other holomptobolus insect larvae as a protective covering for the pupa. Cocoons may be tough or soft, opaque or translucent, solid or mesh-like, of various colors, or composed of multiple layers, depending on the type of insect larva producing it. Many moth caterpillars shed the larval hairs and incorporate them into the cocoon. If these are urticating hairs then the cocoon is also irritating to the touch. Some larvae attach small twigs, fecal pellets or pieces of vegetation to the outside of their cocoon in an attempt to disguise it from predators. Others spin their cocoon in a concealed location a euro on the underside of a leaf, in a crevice, down near the base of a tree trunk suspended from a twig or concealed in the leaf litter. The silk in the cocoon of the silk moth can be unraveled to get silk fiber which makes this moth the most economically important of all Lepidopterans. The silk moth is the only completely domesticated Lepidopteran and does not exist in the wild. Insects that pupate in a cocoon must escape from it, and they do this either by the pupa cutting its way out, or by secreting fluids, sometimes called cocoonase, that's so fun the cocoon. Some cocoons are constructed with built-in lines of weakness along which they will tear easily from inside, or with exit holes that only allow one-way passage out. Such features facilitate the escape of the adult insect after it emerges from the pupal skin. Pupariam, some pea remain inside the exoskeleton of the final larval and star and this last larval shell is called a pupariam. Flies of the group Muscomorpha have pupariae as do members of the order Strepsitera, and the Hemipteran family Alirodidae. Gallery. See also, brood, lava, silk, references. External links, pupas photos plus species descriptions at Lepidoptera Pro, silkworm life cycle photos.